بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم السلام علیکم آفٹر گیٹنگ سکسیس ان دا پی پی ایس سی ریٹرن اسٹیٹسٹکس ٹیسٹ فار دا پوسٹ آف لیکچرر دا سیکنڈ اسٹیپ از ٹو پاس دا انٹرویو ٹوڈے وی آر گوئنگ ٹو ڈسکس فائیو امپورٹنٹ کوشچنس فار انٹرویو بفور اسٹارٹنگ ٹوڈیز لیکچر آئی ریکویسٹ ایوری ون سبسکرائب ٹو مائی چینل لائک اینڈ شیئر مائی چینل and click the bell icon for the notifications of the new videos dear students question number 1 of the interview is why mean of the binomial distribution is always greater than its variance answer is the mean of the binomial distribution is np and variance of the binomial distribution is npq and q is always less than 1 and it is the rule of mathematics when we multiply any quantity which is less than 1 it is reduced that's why mean which is np is always greater than the variance which is npq question number 2 is what is the difference between binomial distribution and negative binomial distribution answer is in binomial distribution trials are fixed in negative binomial distribution trials are not fixed in binomial distribution number of successes are not fixed whereas in negative binomial distribution number of successes are fixed question number 3 is what is the difference between binomial distribution and hypergeometric distribution answer is in binomial distribution trials are independent whereas in hypergeometric distribution trials are dependent in binomial distribution probability of success is fixed for all the trials whereas in hypergeometric distribution the probability of success changes from trial to trial question number 4 is what is the difference between negative binomial distribution and geometric distribution a very important question in geometric distribution we need only one success while in negative binomial distribution we need more than one successes question number 5 which is the last one of today's lecture and that is which skewness is better whether positively skewed distribution or negatively skewed answer is it depends upon the data if we are interested in the number of, in the marks of the students of a class then negatively skewed is the better one almost all the students have got more than 90% marks that will be negatively skewed distribution and if we are interested in the number of absentees of the students then positively skewed distribution will be better assalam alaikum